my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. There is an immortal poem written by Englishman Lee Hunt about a man called Aboben Adham. Aboben Adham woke from his sleep one night and saw in his room an angel writing in a book of gold the names of those who love God. And is mine one? inquired Abou Ben. No, not so, replied the angel. I pray thee, then said Abou Ben, write me as one who loves his fellow human beings. The following night the angel came again and displayed the names of those who love God and Aboben Adham's name topped the list. My dear brothers and sisters, this poem makes the point that true love of God and true love of our fellow human beings are like two sides of the same coin. One cannot exit apart from the other. In today's gospel passage, Jesus packs all the wisdom of the world into two short commandments. Jesus is giving us the meaning of life, the road to fulfillment, the secret to happiness. The key word is obviously love. Usually, we associate this word with some pleasant feelings, intense and delightful emotions. But the word Jesus used means something much deeper. It is the word agape or caritas and it refers to the love that means desiring union with something that is good in itself. If you love ice cream, it means we love eating ice cream because it tastes good. We love becoming one with ice cream, entering into communion with ice cream. And if you love a person, it means we love spending time with them, getting to know them, sharing the experiences of life with them. But using the word agape or caritas is not quite enough. Jesus wants to make completely sure we don't misunderstand. So he explains how Love applies to our two key relationships with God and with other people. We must love God with all our heart, mind and soul. We must desire what God desires. This is the heart. We must value and understand all things the way God does, this is the mind. And we must actively live in accordance with those desires and that understanding, choosing what God would choose in our place. This is the soul. Then we must love our neighbors as we love ourselves, treating them Yes, we would want them to treat us, regardless of how we feel. God's will is that we should love everyone, seeing him in our neighbor, since every human being is the child of God and the dwelling place 
of the Spirit of God, we are actually giving expression to our love of God by loving our neighbor as Jesus loves him or her. We express our love for our neighbor by waiting upon the aged, nursing the sick, patching up quarrels, and listening to the broken hearted. In short, loving our neighbor is feeding the hungry, sheltering the homeless, meeting the basic needs of the poor, helping the unemployed, educating the young, and taking care of the old. So, this is Christian love. Not some passing, self-indulgent emotion, but a courageous lifestyle that puts God first, others second, and third, ourselves. So, let us try to love God and our neighbor. And finally, there is a small joke. One Sunday, the pastor was finishing up a series on marriage. At the end of the service, he was giving out small wooden crosses to each married couple. He said, Place this cross in the room in which you fight the most, and you will be remembered of God's commandment of love, and you won't argue as much. One woman came up after the service and said, You would better give me five crosses. <laughs> 